I don't think it's set in yet. Uh, taking a victory lap with guys like Legat and uh, Leo Mazzano is just exciting, and just to be running alongside them and mentioned with them is just an honor. So I'm pumped. Did you think you could do this coming in? I was confident. Uh, I know my coaches had confidence in me. I had confidence, and that's all I needed. And um, to win, maybe not, but to be top three, that was definitely uh, something I was aiming for. And so. Put myself in a good position, and I knew a good thing was going to happen. You're on fire right now. I mean, how are you feeling? Feeling great, you know. Uh, feeling pretty fresh, uh, even though I've had a good uh, collegiate season. And so I'm um, just taking one step at a time and see what's next. So. Take us to the last 200. Um, you know, it was a lot of pushing throughout the whole race. And then once I came up to 200, I had a clear... Uh, you know, a clear road, no one's really in front of me, and at that point, it was just pretty much holding off people and staying comfortable. So, um, just saved a little bit for that last 50, uh, waited for someone to kind of come up on me, and I think that was Legad, and um, just fortunate enough to hold him off. Uh, to represent the U.S., uh, you know, that's at the highest level pretty much uh, you can do, and so to just be doing that at 21, I'm, I'm excited, and uh, I'm not sure now if I have to go get a time or something, but you know, this is this is good enough, so. How does it feel to hear that roar from the Hayward crowd as you're coming down? It's like you're blacking out. You don't even realize it until it's over. At the time, you're just you're just running on adrenaline. Four years ago, you were winning high school national championships, and Bernard was winning world championships. Yeah. Did you imagine at the time you'd ever have the chance to beat him? Um, I, probably when his career is over, I'd still be running, but he's still going. So, um, no, I didn't envision that. And so now to to do it, it's surreal. So. Pac-10s, NCAA's, nationals. I mean, do you feel like you could. I mean, you can't lose, man. <laughs> yeah, at least in the U.S. as of right now, we'll see. But uh, I'm excited and looking forward to some uh, upcoming races. So. But how's it feel? I mean, to have all that. I mean, it's rare yeah. to have all three. I mean, what's that feel? It's it's unbelievable. You know, when you set goals at the beginning of the season, it's to accomplish all those things or come closer to it. And when you actually go out and do it, it's it's a dream come true. You can't really look back on any regrets or look for any uh, any places where you could capitalize. It did all all I wanted to do this year. So. We saw Andrew and Bernard were, were embracing back there. Do you know what, what, what Bernard said to him? What did you want to um, I'm not sure. Probably just you know keep your head up. I know he's a little down on himself, um, but um, I'm not sure if you know Bernard will do the 15 or not. But I think Weeding will represent the U.S. as well in 15. So we'll see. Well, I guess you know, beating Andrew. Yeah. What does that mean? To you? You know, um, he's a great competitor, and you know all those guys are you know great in their own right. And so, just to be competing with them and coming close to them, it's, it means a lot. And looking forward to uh, you know bigger things in the future. So. Any no, I just they had me over there, and luckily my mom was the first person I heard when I finished, and got her a hug and did a little victory lap. So. What's your mom say? She said she was numb. She was. Uh, <laughs> I don't think she even watched the last 50 meters. She was so nervous. So, uh, yeah. No throat slash here? That's no, you know, I know a lot of people are talking about it and uh, after NCs and, you know, all, all the guys at race know that I'm, you know, respectful, uh, respectful and didn't mean anything to it. And so today was just against those guys, you know, I didn't want to cause anything and I was just excited to be up there. So. Did you and Ben have to get on the same page, kind of like talk yeah. about that, like AJ had said a couple years ago about they were off, off different pages? Did you guys talk about that? After? No, no, Coach, uh, you know, I don't think he uh, criticized anything. I think, uh, you know, he just let me do, you know, I'm 21 years old. I could, you know, handle my stuff. And it was something that I knew that I probably, you know, looking back on it, I mean, what I've done again, maybe sure, it was just running on emotions. And um, obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to hate and whatever. So um, Vin and I didn't really discuss anything on that and just kept moving forward. Hey, maybe talk about you know your confidence in kicking. Yeah. You guys have yeah. run 145. Yeah. You know, and, if anybody wants I mean, it. I'm not sure where your lifetime best is in 300 meters, but you know these guys have raced this way and have you know been working on their speed while you've been dealing with dual meets and so on. I mean, you know, how do you, how do you stay confident in closing that race knowing who's around you? Um, I think using the collegiate season uh, by winning in uh, most of my races um, was just giving me enough confidence, you know. Um, sure, they could run 144, but, you know, at the same time, it's a 1500 race, and it's a little different than eight, but, um, you know, when I'm competing with guys like that, it makes me feel that, I, you know, I could do that if I, you know, was to compete at 800, but unfortunately, you know, I didn't get to, but um, at the same time, I'm just in back of my head knowing that I'm able to do it if I, if I needed to do it, but, um, and just staying, you know, confident in what I, what I have and what I've been doing.